Racing is suspected in a deadly crash at an elementary school in San Bernardino. Two cars collided on the Roberts Elementary campus on 9th Street and Waterman Avenue. KKL9 Inland Empire reporter Crystal Cruz is live with some new security video that could help this investigation. Crystal. That's right, Elsa. This security video now taken over to police headquarters so they can have a closer look as the scene pretty much wrapped up out here. All that's left are some partially down power lines from this fatal crash. I heard the uh, engine, you know how street racers ram their engines. Let's look again at a slowed down version of security video from an auto repair shop a block away that shows one car on 9th Street in San Bernardino pass a white truck and moments later another car flies by. I saw the car in the school uh, all of a sudden spin around and boom. It landed where it's at. Witnesses say street racing between two cars possibly caused the driver of this mangled silver Acura to lose control, hit a power pole, clip a tree, take out a fence, and end up dead. How fast do you think they were going? <laughs> at least 85, 90. Police are working into the night to figure out exactly what happened because they say there's a few different stories going around and want to talk to the driver of a second car seen here in this photo. You have innocent bystanders. You have people walking with their kids, people crossing the street. Just thank God no one else, you know, is deceased. The crash tore up the parking lot of Neil Roberts Elementary School. An employee here says she's thankful the students are on spring break or children could have been hurt too. You could kill people, you know, by doing something stupid for the moment, you know, having fun for the moment. Is it worth it? No, it's not. You hurting people in lives and families. The speed limit out here, 40 miles per hour. So these drivers possibly going twice the speed limit, up to 80 miles per hour. The body has been removed. The car has been removed. Now we're waiting on the coroner to make an identification. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.